In an effort to replace their fourth-generation fighters which are rapidly becoming obsolete, France, Germany and Spain have teamed up to create a modern sixth-generation manned stealth fighter. Introducing the new generation fighter. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. The new generation fighter, or NGF for short, is a sixth generation manned stealth fighter. It is planned to replace France's Dassault Rafales, Germany's Eurofighter Typhoons and Spain's Boeing EF-18 Hornets. A test flight of a demonstrator was expected around 2027 and entry into service around 2040. The NGF is one component of the larger next generation weapon system program which also consists of two types of drone remote carriers. The first is the recoverable remote carrier, a loyal wingman type of drone, which is being developed by Airbus Defense and Space. The second is the expendable remote carrier, which is being developed by MBDA, and will launch from the weapons bay of the NGF and perform various missions. The next generation weapon system is itself a component of the larger encompassing Future Combat Air System, or FCAS for short, which also includes the air combat cloud networking capability. The program is also known by its French name, Système de Combat Aérien du Futur, or SCAF for short. The FCAS is a European combat system of systems under development by France's Dassault Aviation, Germany's Airbus Defence and Space and Spain's Indra Systemis. Dassault Aviation is the prime contractor for the NGF portion of the program while Airbus is the prime contractor for the remote carriers. The FCAS concept was developed in the frame of the European Technology Acquisition Program that was started in 2001 as a cooperation between Germany, France, Great Britain, Italy, Sweden and Spain. Like its American counterpart, the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the new FCAS concept was a system of systems approach combining manned and unmanned systems, combat aircraft and UCAV, to be more efficient in the envisaged future scenarios than operating with manned systems alone. In 2017, Germany and Spain asked Airbus to start working on a proposal for a new fighter under the name Future Combat Air System. At the 2018 ILA Berlin Air Show, Dassault Aviation and Airbus announced an agreement to cooperate on the development of the FCAS. In December 2018, the German Defense Ministry welcomed Spain's expression of interest in the program and Spain officially joined the FCAS program in June 2019. At the Paris International Air Show in June 2019, a full-scale mock-up of the new generation fighter and both remote carriers made their debut on the world stage. In December 2019, Safran and MTU Aero Engines agreed on the foundation of a 50-50 joint venture that will be incorporated by the end of 2021 to manage the development, production, and the after-sales support activities of the new engine to power the NGF. The full-scale mock-up of the NGF was once again was on display at the Paris International Air Show in June 2023. On day two of the show, Belgium signed on to become an official observer to the FCAS program. Observer status would last six months to a year and allow Belgium to exchange information with the other partners and evaluate how different manufacturers could integrate and add value to the project. The NGF is now scheduled to fly for the first time in 2029, a two-year delay to an original timeline amid workshare disagreements between Airbus and Dassault, an all-too-common issue with joint Franco-German defense projects. A fully operational NGF is still slated for 2040. Another issue between France and Germany is there is a distinct gulf in future fighter operational requirements between the two nations. The biggest operational requirement difference between France and Germany is that nuclear delivery and long-range strike missions are at the forefront of French ambitions, but not so for Germany which has consistently had to grapple politically with opposition to equipping aircraft with nuclear weapons and has committed to buying the F-35 for that mission. France has two requirements it wants for the NGF. The first is that it wants the NGF to be capable of launching its fourth-generation air-to-surface nuclear missile, the ASN-4G which is currently being developed by MBDA. The second demand is to equip the NGF with the technologies and equipment necessary to convert it into a naval aircraft, 
capable of being catapulted and piloted on the deck of France's new generation nuclear aircraft carrier, the Pang. Germany, on the other hand, is looking for a dedicated air defense interceptor fighter to replace its Eurofighter Typhoons. Berlin has not yet confirmed whether it will be the NGF or the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning IIs it is buying from the United States to replace the Panavia Tornado fighters of the 33rd Tactical Air Wing, which are adapted to fire the B-61 nuclear-guided bombs that are the result of an agreement between Washington and Berlin. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the new generation fighter. If you would like to see a future video on the remote carrier component of the FCAS program, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help this channel grow and thanks for watching.